Thousands of National Guardsmen and women have been activated and are on the ground in Houston. Service members are assisting local and state law enforcement in heavily flooded areas, helping to rescue those stranded by massive floodwaters. Texas Military Public Affairs Director Colonel Stephen Metz is in Austin, Texas. Colonel, we are now several days into the rescue efforts. How are things going so far? Well, we're seeing an incredible amount of cooperation between local, state, and federal agencies, along with the Texas Military Department. We're seeing you know, thousands of rescues on the ground, uh, hundreds from the air. We're seeing a lot of evacuations. So the, the level of support is incredible. Civilians are joining in as well. Um, but, you know, we're still very much focused on search and rescue. There's still a lot of people in imminent danger, and our number one focus right now is getting those people to safety. There have been, as you know, conflicting reports about the number of fatalities caused by the storm. When do you think we will know the extent of the devastation? Uh, well, we know this is going to take a while. I mean, there's still rain going on right now. We've got to wait for all the rain to end and then all the water to drain out before there's going to be any kind of assessment like that. And really, uh, that, that's less a Texas military department function and, and really something that belongs to another agency. You know, we're search and rescue right now. We're going to be moving into uh, critical life support later and whatever other missions we, we need to go into. Uh, you and your folks have been working through the night along with other first responders to make sure folks are okay. Tell us about what kind of relief your teams are getting. Uh, well, what, one of the things that the additional people is allowing us to do is, is plan for 24-hour operations. It's it's no stranger to the military to do 24-7 operations because, you know, that's what we train for all the time. So with the additional people we're bringing on board, what that allows us to do is work in shifts, and, and working in shift allows us to, to work throughout the night as well as the day to continue doing the rescue operations that we need to do until, you know, everybody's out of harm's way. Uh, Colonel, as you know, these images coming out of Texas are uh, really prompting a lot of people to ask, what can I do? What would be your advice to people who would like to somehow help those victims affected by the flooding? Well, certainly civilians have a role to play in all of this. And uh, for those who are not near the affected area, probably the best thing you can do is contact your local Red Cross or other agencies that are providing relief support. Uh, for those who are in the area, you know, if you have boats or you want to help or you have the ability to move around and, and you want to do rescue efforts, call your local authorities, your local first responders and coordinate with them. They'll tell you, you know, where they need you, when they need you, where it's safe to go, where it's not. What we don't want are, are people going somewhere that they think is safe that's actually much more dangerous than it looks or people going, you know, in one direction where there's a foot of water where there's actually someone in dire need and six feet of water the other direction. All right, Colonel Stephen Metz. Colonel, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.